Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very, very laid back video, very simple. We're taking it back to, I don't know, the YouTube classics, if you can say that. It's been over a year since my last What's in My Bag video. I think I did it January of 2015, so it's been a while. It's been such a long while. And after my very complicated Star Trek video, that video took forever to make, and I actually had to record it twice. For the first time, it just didn't come out good so I re-recorded it, edited it all in the same day, got it up for you like a few hours later. I worked a lot in that video so thank you so much for all the positive feedback but today I wanted something that was easy to record, easy to edit, and something fun so let me show you what I have in this bag. And this bag is the Twill Tote Bag from Everlane in the reverse denim finish. I have the backpack in reverse denim, so this was something that really caught my eye. And when I saw this on Poshmark secondhand, I was just like, yes, let me get it. So as I said, the material is reverse denim, and then the straps here, and also the inside, is leather. And these are by far the most comfortable handbag straps I've ever experienced. The reason why I really love the shoulder straps in this handbag is because it just comfortably sits on my shoulders. It doesn't like dig into my shoulders, it doesn't cause them to hurt or get swollen or anything, so they're just very, very comfortable. And the bag itself is just very low maintenance, very minimal, so there's not a lot going on in this bag as you can see, it's just very simple. I say the size is pretty nice. I mean, I could fit my MacBook Pro in here if I wanted to. It's not lined, so I probably wouldn't do that. But if it's my DSLR, if it's my lenses, I can put in my huge water bottle in here. So if it's a lot, but most of the time, I don't like to carry too much. <laughs> the first thing I have is this little card holder for business cards. I purchased this at Daiso for $150 and I just keep my blogger business cards in here. Another thing that's always in my handbag is this little coin pouch and I feel like a grandma <laughs> with one of these but this one is so cool. I got it at one of the blogger events that I went to here in San Diego. It's a Simon Premium Outlets but I mean I could really care less just because it's so practical. I love practical things so I just have some money in here, my coins, and it doesn't scratch up my little card holder and this one I like keeping it very thin so I used to keep a lot of my bills in here but I just made it all fat so now I have this to keep my bills and everything else and this little card holder once again it's very minimal very practical and it's also by Everlane and I only tried to keep my essentials in my card holder so I have my debit card credit card my Target debit card because I love Target <laughs> I also have my driver's license, my school ID, although I graduated a few years ago, but I look the same, so I still get a student discount when I can. <laughs> and then what else do I have? Oh, I have my my little compass card, so if I want to take the trolley, I can. I also have my mom's Costco card because I was going to give it to her. <laughs> I forgot. Then I have a fountain pen. This one my friend gave to me when I was studying abroad in Paris. And then I also have this little <laughs> corrector and eraser for the ink because the ink is erasable. I love just all the different variety of pens and like office supplies in Paris for some weird reason. So I ended up bringing a bunch of them here. I'm weird. I, <laughs> I have no idea. I also have another pen from the We All Grow Blogger Summit convention conference thing. Then what else do we have? We have tissues which is going to come in handy because I am very very sweaty right now. Gotta blot everything. Then I also have this little notebook thing and I just stuck some Glossier stickers because I have glossy stickers on everything. <laughs> I have my little glasses case. This is Warby Parker and I have my Warby Parker prescription sunglasses. So they look like this. I believe they don't sell this model anymore. 
I, I don't I don't think they do I haven't seen it on their website for a while but they do have a very similar model which I will link down below but they look like this and these are a lifesaver I mean right now I feel so comfortable just because my eyes are very sensitive to the Sun for some reason and I'm always squinting and since I'm nearsighted I always need prescription glasses whenever I drive or go to the movies or go outside and actually want to see everything clear so these are perfect and they're actually pretty affordable for prescription sunglasses so I'm a huge Warby Parker fan so I always recommend them and the last thing in my bag is my my beauty bag and this one is by Kipling I got it at another blogger event here in San Diego at Fashion Valley I love supporting local businesses even if it's the local Kipling shop like I'll go there. I'll go to your event because it's nice to just support one another, especially locally. So I went to the event and basically that event was you would donate a handbag and they would give it to a woman in need. So I donated a handbag, just hung around, talked to the owner and everything. I mean not the owner, the manager. <laughs> and they gave us a few things and this one was the most practical one once again. I'm all about stuff that's practical and at first, well I still don't like the print. It's it's just very springy and very, very busy. <laughs> I don't like the print itself, but this bag is just, it's by far the most practical makeup bag that I've ever had. So you open it up, there's a bunch of compartments and zippers so you can have everything very organized. When you open it up, you have a large compartment so you can fit pretty large things. And the first thing <laughs> is a pretty random thing, so... This is for when you poop in public, so if you don't want to wipe your butt with something dry, with a dry toilet paper, you can just spritz it on the toilet paper. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I just, what can they say about it? But it is, it's toilet tissue mist. That sounds a little bit more fancy. TMI, I know. <laughs> The next thing I have is this deep steep moisture stick that I found at Marshall's. It's basically moisturizer in a stick because I like stuff in a stick. I personally really like having moisturizer in a stick just because it's mess free. You just swipe it on and there won't be any accidents. I've had stuff like spill all over my bag and it's just a mess. So this is mess free and I believe this is, yeah. It's a natural brand, so if you can find it at Marshalls, I highly recommend it. Then I also have another natural product. This is the Dr. Bronner's <laughs> Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. I don't know why it just blank, but it is a hand sanitizer that you just spritz on. It's super cool. It doesn't leave your hands all sticky. This does smell very strong, so if you don't like lavender essential oils like my dad, I spritzed it on him and he was just like, oh my god, this is nasty, and he went to the bathroom and washed his hands. But I personally love lavender, so this smells really nice, <laughs> and I like that it's not sticky or it's not very dry either because it doesn't contain a bunch of alcohol, which is nice, so... I really like this personally. Then I also have this which is the brush on block and it's in mineral sunscreen so if I want to touch up my sunscreen it's just a little powder has a little brush and I just go like that. Then I also have another sunscreen this one's for my body because I get sunburned really easily. <laughs> this sunscreen is the coolest sport classic sunscreen in the fresh mango scent. It works pretty nice as SPF 50. I just really like the smell because it doesn't smell like regular sunblock and I just don't like that smell so this smells very fresh. Yeah this is a little vial with rose water so I can just like spray myself whenever I want or if I just want to smell roses I can do that. And this little travel container was from Daiso, so 150 once again. What else do I have? I have a lip balm. This one is a natural and organic lip balm by a local San Diego company called Botanical Me. It's very thick and moisturizing and just refreshing, so I really love this lip balm. I also have a Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 10 Light with me, just because since I do wear 
glasses sometimes I do get the little the little indentation here or sometimes I don't know I get a blemish and I just want to like cover it up so I always have concealer with me I've learned the hard way sometimes I just have like a huge or I also get red a lot on my chest and neck for no reason at all like I'll wear like my seatbelt and my skin is just very sensitive so concealer I also have this one's the hair lipstick are you surprised that I have so many lip products I don't think so um, this is a one of those color changing mood lipsticks it reacts with your pH I believe I showed this in my last what's in my bag or maybe the first one so it's pretty old but it still works <laughs> and then I also have another lipstick this one's the Charlotte Tilbury matte revolution lipstick in the shade amazing grace which is the one that I'm wearing today I love these lipsticks I love the packaging the formula these are just like one of my favorite lipstick formulas. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Then I have another lipstick, surprise, surprise. This one is from the MAC Star Trek collection that I reviewed in my last video in this shade is in Live Long and Prosper. I went down to Comic-Con again <laughs> yesterday and I was just like, you know what? Let me wear the Star Trek makeup again. <laughs> so I wore this lipstick. I really, really love this lipstick. It's metallic, but very subtle, like a subtle metallic. I just really like it. And then I have another lip product. Whoa, another lip product. <laughs> this one's the Meat Matte Hues by La Balm. Long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade. Um, I have no idea. In the little mesh compartment, I carry a few things. So the first one is just a little mirror from Daiso, $1.50. I love Daiso. I just, it's like the dollar store, but with an Asian flair. So everything's very minimal and practical and a little bit better quality in my opinion. I don't know, I just really like Daiso and everything's just so cute there. I also have the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. These are a classic. I used to have these in high school. They were like the first oil blotting sheets that I've ever tried. And they look like this if you've never seen them. These ones are actually very satisfying to me since I have really oily skin. I just like seeing how oily my skin is. And when it does get really oily, like... You'll see how it looks transparent. That means it's getting the oil. So you know when it's working. <laughs> Look at this. It's kind of gross, but so satisfying. So satisfying. I also carry this little thing from, this is not from Daiso. This is from Muji. Japanese, not as, not as cheap, but this wasn't very expensive either. And since I do wear a lot of black, that's basically my favorite color to wear, I do get a lot of lint, a lot of dog hair, especially from my Chow Chow Buster. He just shuts like crazy. So I always carry this and just take care of the lint. And it's super like compact, travel friendly. I love having this. Then we have another compartment. See, that's why I love this bag. So you open up the zipper and I have my little scissors, my little cuticle scissors, which come in handy a lot, especially if you have like a thread like I do right now. So I just like snip it off so it doesn't bother me. We also have a little nail file from, I believe this is also from Muji. So it just, it's pretty compact once again. You just open it up, file your nails, that's it. I also have these Forever 21 um, tweezers. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted some cheap ones. And last but not least, I have my my house keys, my emergency house keys, and they have the San Diego Padres logo because they're my hometown <laughs> baseball team and I love them. And that's pretty much it. I think I can stop blabbing now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you have in your handbag in the comments below. I will also love to know about what handbag you have. Maybe you also have an Everlane bag or I don't know. Just let me know what bag you carry. <laughs> if you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. It should be another Beauty Bright review, I believe. That's what I'm like mentally planning. And I will be recording the Star Trek makeup tutorial. So, all right. Thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Please, we're going to hug it. The very
very first products that I want to talk about are exclusive to North America and also exclusive to this collection. They're called the Fantastic Powders and they look incredible. This is the one that I purchased at Comic Con 